Hi, welcome back once again. So, um, let's have another sample. Say, uh, we have 3y minus 1 dy all over y squared plus 2y plus 2. Mm. So, once again, this is a uh, very interesting problem. Okay. So, when I encounter this kind of problem, my uh, technique is to, um, to um, simplify first, then think of what formula that um, is or that can be applied to this. So, um, uh, at first, uh, since um, uh, we uh, already discussed the um, uh, integration leading to inverse trigonometric function, so um, the uh, nearest um, nearest formula recording uh, the um, uh, denominator, when we look at the denominator, is that we don't have the uh, the uh, square root, so uh, maybe we can use the uh, second formula, which is uh, equal to the, if we have the integral of the u all over the uh, the uh, uh, some function of u squared plus some constant that is being squared, which leads to the uh, arc tangent. Um, u all over a and then plus sign uh, plus c okay so as we can see here we have y squared plus 2y plus 2 right <coughs> and if we um, analyze this part the uh, y squared plus 2y plus 2 here then we may think of some function of y uh, that can be uh, squared. So we need once again the uh, completing of squared. So I can see here y y squared plus two y plus two, diba? So by uh, by uh, using the completing of square, we have y squared because we need some function of y that is being squared. So we have. Uh, maybe we have some variable y there and then we have 2y so maybe we have plus 1 y plus 1 and if we expand this we have y squared plus y plus y 2y plus 1 times 1 1 then our original form is y squared plus 2y plus 2 so we need to add plus 1 here in order for us to uh, equate this two, um, two uh, terms here. Okay, y squared plus 2y plus 1 plus 1 is 2. So we have 2 here. So uh, we can also rewrite this as 1 plus y plus 1 like this 1 squared and plus 1. Right? Okay. So this uh, expression is also equal to this expression okay so uh, after uh, determining this part then you can now uh, simplify our uh, given integrand we have 3y minus 1 dy all over this denominator we have y plus 1 that is being squared plus 1 or maybe we can write this as 1 squared because 1 1 squared is just 1 also in order for us to come up with this similar form okay so our uh, function of uh, f f y in our example is this one and our constant is 1 okay so let's uh, further uh, expand this um, since we um, in our formula, we need the uh, derivative of u. So, the derivative of this function. 
So the derivative of our function here is just dy. Okay, so maybe we can uh, uh, simplify this further by uh, uh, by uh, separating 3y to negative 1. Okay, so by doing that, we have 3y dy all over y plus 1 squared plus 1 squared minus this term integral of dy all over y plus 1 squared plus 1 squared okay as you can see here oops sorry as you can see here we have the uh, the uh, here we have the uh, u which is a function of y is equal to y plus 1 that is being squared is 1 and our constant a that is also being squared is 1 and the derivative of y is just dy so we are already in this form so now we can apply this to solve this second part okay so um uh, uh, since we uh, uh, have separated another integrand here let's uh, uh, go back here in our first integrand and analyze this because we have already an answer to our second integrand but or while we have uh, we don't have yet an answer to this part okay so maybe um, uh, let's think of another formula that might help us to solve this um, this integrand okay so as you can see here you have uh, some y dy here and as you uh, as we analyze the denominator we have some y squared here and we say that if we uh, take the derivative of the y squared we have some value of y dy okay so let's try to let our uh, let's think of another variable because we used the variable u in uh, our second second integrand so uh, let's say we have to let z is equal to uh, the whole term at the uh, denominator so we have y plus 1 squared plus 1 squared or 1 okay so the derivative of this is uh, we have 2 y plus 1 then the derivative of this is 0 so we have uh, y 2 plus 1 dy okay but we don't have um, the um, the uh, y plus 1 at our numerator so we cannot use this dz directly so uh, we can simplify this further by dividing both sides by 2 so we have dz all over 2 okay so we have here um dz all over uh, 2 is equal to y plus 1 dy okay and if we need this as uh, the equivalent of dz all over 2 then maybe we can manipulate our y here in our numerator this one okay so that part is y dy how can we equate this one y dy in order for us to have this y plus one dy there so uh, by uh, simply you can uh, let's try to uh, add one so we have uh, y plus one so we add one in order for us to get this value but uh, since we add one and in order for us to not um, add not to deviate from our uh, original numerator then we must also have minus one because as you can see y is just equal to y 
plus 1, then if you have minus 1 there, okay? Plus 1 minus 1 is just 0, or y is equal to y, okay? But we will use this uh, expanded form in order for us to come up with this um, value, y plus 1 dy, okay? So instead of writing y dy there, we can um, use the the uh, the expanded form which is equal to y plus 1 minus 1 okay so let me rewrite this once again san ko ba so that okay dito na lang so we have the integral of 3 times y plus 1 minus 1 dy Yan. dy all over uh, y plus 1 squared plus 1 squared y plus 1 squared plus 1 squared okay so from here we rewrite our integrand as similar to this okay and if we um, okay let me write once again the uh, the change we the change of variable that we used we have z we let z is equal to our whole denominator and we get the derivative of z which is 2y plus 1 dy then we divide this by 2 okay and then we say that dz over uh, 2 it's just equal to y plus 1 dy okay okay simplifying this further so we have uh, the um, integral i'm sorry the um, integral of uh say let's um let's uh, expand this first integral of 3 